Hi, Miss Deb here. Today I'm going to show you an optical illusion using your hand. This is only one kind of optical illusion. So you need to have your hand in the middle of the page. Do not have it sticking out or on one side and make sure you spread out your fingers. Now while tracing your hand, make sure you are holding your pencil absolutely vertical and not at an angle. This is extremely important. You know why? Although if you hold your pencil at an angle, your hand and fingers will end up looking very skinny. After you've traced your hand with pencil, please do not outline it with anything else because the optical illusion will only be created if you have your um, uh, lines very light. Now, we are going to create some lines. For that, you will use, use the ruler and measure uh, every one inch and then every half inch. The one inch lines are one with long lines with numbers next to it. And the half inch lines are the long line in between, in halfway between the two numbers. So you have to measure equal amounts on both sides of the paper. Uh, line up the ruler with the edge of the paper so it will be straight. And after that, make some marks on all the inches. Please make sure when you're making the marks that it's going away from the ruler and not sideways. If you are lining up your markings with a si sideways with the ruler, you will not know which side is the correct line. Like see like that, so you do not know which point is the correct point. So always, always mark your with pencil away from the ruler. So after you're done making the marks every half inch on both sides of the paper, you have to draw, connect those marks vert, um, horizontally from one end of the paper to the other. But make sure that you do not draw over your outline of your hands. So the top two lines, you can draw all the way through, but see how I am leaving the gaps in between the fingers but wherever the in between the gaps, I am filling it up with the uh, parallel lines. So you have to fill up the whole page doing that from top to bottom. Now remember, in between the fingers, there are gaps. So you have to make sure that all the lines are there. So here my finger, uh, thumb is sticking out. So my thumb has like lined up with one of the lines. Uh, so that might be a little bit of problem later on and I'll show you. And now that the, you see the two points, there are gaps. So make really high curves inside your hands, inside your outline of your hand, joining those two lines. Now, if you are uh, seeing that the area is a little bit uh, long, so you have to make sure that the curves are kind of long too, like one big curve. It's easier to make the smaller curves, but it's kind of hard to make the longer curves. So inside of your hand has to be longer curves. Now this part is a little tricky because my thumb is almost lined up with those lines. So make sure you're joining the two lines. Uh, it's the same lines on both sides. So that, see how I had a big gap and I made a mistake because I did not join the two lines. And there is a huge gap and there is a way to fix it. And we will be fixing it when we start coloring it. For coloring mediums, you can use anything. You can use markers, you can use colored pencils, you can use crayons. I am using markers over here and I am tracing all those straight lines. You will notice that I have not outlined my hand, the silhouette of my hand, but I am just going over the lines that I have drawn inside and outside. 
so first I'm finishing up with the uh, red marker and then I will fill up the gap with other colors the closer the lines are the better illusion your hand will create it will look like as if it's inside the paper after you have outlined those lines please erase all the pencil marks that are showing but please do, uh, if you want to you can erase the outline of the hand also but it might be helpful to have it on for the other color so you know where your hand is ending so i am going to choose the other colors right now so make it you can make it as colorful as you want or you can choose a color scheme like the similar colors and uh, uh, like blues and greens and you can do it too any which way is fine as long as you fill up all the colors you can also keep some of the areas white like i have done so i'm going to first finish up all the lines with uh, this color and then i'm going to move on to the next color now that I'm done with uh, pink, I am going on to blue and I'm intentionally leaving a little bit of white that I can use that as a color too. So you will see your hand will show up uh, much better. It will, it will look like as it's hidden inside the paper. Now this part is a little bit trickier because there is a big white gap and I'm going to finish doing all the lines and I'm going to come back to that spot and I'm going to fill up with alternate colors so it will look like it's part of the hand. The higher the curves are inside your hand silhouette, the better your hand will show up. So I'm going to finish up that big white spot um, with the blue and the pink. So I have just used two different colors and I've used white as one of my colors. So that part, the tiny curve was the, my thumb part. The thumb part, since it lined up with the background lines, it's not showing up as well. But if you squint your eyes, you'd be able to see my hand come to life as if it's hidden inside the paper. Now, you're, you can choose any other color schemes. I'm going to show you some examples. And I hope you ha have fun doing this. Happy creating!